you are looking at a 1997 Chevy 2500 cargo van. Uh, it has an almost new set of tires. Uh, the interior is pretty clean. This seat's a little torn up. Nothing a seat cover wouldn't fix. Uh, the air is blowing cold. Let me turn that off. It's beeping because I have all the doors open, I think. Uh, nice set of tires. They do have boxes fashioned in here. I mean, whether you kept them or started again would be completely up to you. Uh, let's get all these. I'm going to close them and lock them. So that's all closed up. Uh, this door has a ding right here, and there's a ding in the back. So that would be two of your only trouble spots on the exterior. So this one. Get to push it in a little bit there. That's your, your main site of trauma in this vehicle. So put that together. This has a 5-liter V8. Sounds good. And so that it's quiet. So, it only has 164,000 miles. The check engine code is for an oxygen sensor. I'm almost positive that I can have that fixed sometime this week. Um, so, if you decide, all right, we got Tupac. Turn him down a little bit for now. Uh, if you decide that this is the van for you, you would owe a deposit of $250, followed by the balance within seven days. You have a total of 30 days to pick this van up here in Frankfort, Delaware. Frankfort, Delaware is located 20 minutes north of Ocean City, Maryland, about two hours south of Wilmington and Philadelphia. If you fly here, you want to fly to Salisbury, Maryland Airport. That's airport code SBY, Sierra Bravo Yankee. We can pick you up during business hours or by appointment, bring it back to the lot, put a 60-day Delaware temporary tag on this van, and you can drive it back to wherever you're from. If you have questions about it while it's up for auction, you can ask questions through eBay. Uh, you can give us a call at the lot. The number is 302-732-6800. My name is Jay. My office manager's name is Val. Anybody that you speak with would be more than happy to try to help you out. Um, but you are looking at a, a, a decent cargo. Finding vans right now, I mean, post in this post-COVID world we live in, is very, very difficult to find a decent work van at a decent price you're either going to buy a brand new one for seventy thousand dollars or you're gonna i mean it's really rocking a hard place um but this one is decent actually the check engine light went out so perhaps that reading that i got i mean it might be on again off again um these are constantly rescanning themselves so uh, if you have any questions about this van please feel free to ask uh, it should serve somebody pretty well so i wish you good luck and happy bidding.